today we will see three rearrangement reactions as you can see on this paper those uh, this three uh, arrangement reactions having some similarities so we will discuss this three uh, reactions i have made a short note of this and then we will go through mechanism of these three reactions and we will see two to three examples of each okay so let's start first is hoffman rearrangement reaction in this we will use a reagent is base plus halogen x2 is halogen means here you can use uh, cl2 that is chlorine or bromine br2 iodine i2 okay and reactant will be primary amide primary amide uh, structure will be this and here we need to remember that you cannot use secondary amide or tertiary amide okay here only primary amide are involved and now again cutis rearrangement in this re reagent will be nan3 and this uh, symbol represents a heat and then water reactant will be acyl halide this will react and this will form uh, with this it will react and it will form acid acid okay and that will be our uh, main reactant will uh, which is used to proceed the reaction to get primary amine and in third reaction that is lawson rearrangement here reagent will be base and reactant will be hydroxy amide you can call it hydroxymic acid and um, structure is this one and then hydroxy ester or hydroxymic ester you can say that exam uh, that uh, structure is this one rc double bond o, o and h with n uh, o will be connected and then c double bond o r and in this uh, what is similarity is product will be the same that is primary amine and intermediate will be acyl nitrine this will be the intermediate in this three of the reaction and after the um, these reactions we are going to get primary amide you can write the definition like this of a hoffman rearrangement that a, a pri um, primary amide on a reaction with base and a halogen gives the primary amine similarly you can write for this and write for this let's see mechanism which is most important for uh, to reaction to proceed and to understand and the reaction um, betterly and properly you uh, you can copy this in your notes it's very important and uh, it's very helpful now uh, we will see mechanism of hoffman rearrangement reaction as you know mechanisms are very important um, this will be the reactant and reagent we are going to get this is the main product here mechanism is first base base always abstracts the proton so it will abstract proton from here and um, negative uh, charge will go here and then we have negative charge then halogens uh, we write like this and uh, this negative charge will attack on this and this will shift here as you know this arrow marks shows just the um, how the reaction is proceeding okay it it doesn't we cannot see this arrow marks in a reaction when it happens in test tubes and all it just uh, which shows how the reaction is proceeding so then again um, oh will abstract proton and uh, uh, then um, here will be negative charge and then if this uh, halogen will always go with the negative charge and negative uh, um, it will go here will be positive positive negative will be neutral and we get this this is acyl nitrine this is the intermediate then this will shift here alkyl migration will take place and this uh, lone pair will come here and we will get um, isocyanate and then with water we get this product and then the reaction will proceed like this we um, its hydrogen has been taken by these two lone pairs and we got here negative charge and uh, then uh, this negative charge shifts here and this bond shifts here because we see here is a positive charge and if it gets negative we will get a neutral molecule so that is amine, uh, primary amine and CO2 release of CO2 examples are as you can see this is primary amide with the base uh, we are removing this this is just a, a small trick you can remember otherwise you can do the same mechanism for this also and you will get this product similarly for this also removal of this these reactions are like n c n minus 1 c okay means we are removing this co2 and we are getting this product now we will see for cutis rearrangement reaction as I said to you that mechanisms are important so we will see for Curtis rearrangement reaction here we have taken acyl halide with NaN3 it will give acid azide and with the heat and water we will get this primary amine so mechanism is first uh, this uh, lone pairs uh, we are writing uh, N 
n3 we are writing like this and uh, here will be as you know na plus and n3 minus so we have taken this and this will attack here and uh, this um, one of the bond of this will shift onto oxygen will get negative charge and then this will will come and this will go and uh, then it's just it will if this bond is going the, here will be positive positive negative will be neutral so we will get acyl nitrine and um, removal of n2 same isocyanate and then water same mechanism of uh, already we have seen in hoffman rearrangement reaction and we'll get primary amine similarly examples two examples i have taken this is also just uh, nc to n minus 1c okay this is a main important point for three of the reactions hoffman curtis and lawson so remove this and write directly and uh, for this also remove this here will be cl2 and this same reagents mm, i have uh, written like this you can write ch2 nh2 okay now we will see for loss and rearrangement reaction okay for this uh, i have taken two points i have written here with hydroxymic acid that is hydroxy as uh, azide hydroxy amide with the base it will give primary amine and then uh, with the uh, hydroxy ester or hydroxymic ester uh, with the base it will give primary amine for first one i have written mechanism for, for second one you try yourself so first see the mechanism of first one uh, just like uh, what is the uh, work of base it just abstracts proton it will abstract and then uh, this oh will go and positive negative will be neutral so we will get acyl nitrine which is the intermediate of this reaction and then we'll get isocyanate with the water same reaction will proceed has a we have seen in Hoffman rearrangement reaction and Curtis rearrangement reaction and then removal of CO2 and we will get primary amine. So for um, mechanism of two, you will try yourself. Okay, friends. And uh, now we will see two of the examples of this rea uh, reaction, um, rearrangement reaction. We, I have taken for a hydroxy, um, is hydroxy amide. For uh, this, we have taken base. Just remove these and remove this as you can proceed with the... Um, mechanism too but we know that uh, in this also n c will be n minus 1 c and this will remove and abstract proton and this will be get removed and will get primary amine similarly in for this also it will go and this will be abstracted by proton or uh, that and it will it will be get removed like co2 and we will get this as the answer <coughs> As uh, we have gone through three of the reaction, first is Hoffman, second is Curtis, and third is Lawson rearrangement uh, reaction. And first paper you might have not not done in your notebook, and uh, you just practice this with uh, uh, first remember a reactant and uh, reagents. And main thing is what is intermediate and uh, what is uh, the product we are going to get. Okay. Um, I hope you might like the video and the content of my video. Uh, thank you for spending your time on this video and uh, sh do share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.